Hello everybody. I hope everyone is doing lovely. I trust you all are. I'm gonna open up this video with a little short poem thingy I wrote. So it goes like this. Love is not a destination, it's a journey. It's not that you must find happiness, it's that you must create happiness. And another thing that came to my head before I record, started this video is that one of the most powerful things that a person can do is change someone's life in a positive way. And you know, I've really noticed that because I'm just gonna give a shout out to my manifestation coach on YouTube named Sammy Ingram. I highly recommend you check out her channel and videos. She is straight to the point. She's helped me so much with manifestation. So look no further. I'm so serious with you. Like if you've been trying to manifest X, Y, and Z for super long, but none of these techniques have been working, delete all the other channels. This is the, her channel is literally like the only channel you need for advice on manifesting the life that you want for real, for real, because she is straight to the point and forget anything that anyone's tried to sell you on for you to change your life and take this course and that course and this course and no. The secret is change your thoughts and change your life, period. It's that simple and it's that easy. There's really not all these rules. The rules that supposedly exist are ones that were created by humans. The only rules that exist are the ones that um, we allow ourselves to believe that are true and then follow because we think that there is something to follow. So, I'm tying it back to her because I just, I've seen the videos where she shared testimonies from people saying like how it's worked for them and this and that and just seeing like how I've applied certain things that she has shared in my life and how it's worked thus far, you know. So, it's, I was like, dang, she's really out here changing people's lives. How powerful is that? You know, how amazing is that? Can you imagine? So I also hope to positively change people's lives for the better and allow people to realize the power within themselves so that they may be living the life of their dreams and the life that they've always been meant to live, okay? So shake off jiggle off any limitations right now okay shake it off with me let's say we're shaking off any and all limitations okay because we're free what constraints do we have other than the ones we place on ourselves zero <sighs> see release release that with a nice you know what I mean? Like breathe in and breathe out. So, you know, like no matter what you maybe think, though you can find happiness in things, destinations and places and people, happiness is something you have to create because it's depending on you. It's dependent on you. You can go to a different destination, a different environment, be with different people, you know, buy different things, have different things, but the happiness isn't going to come unless you allow it to come, unless you choose that happiness, unless you choose happiness, you create that happiness within whatever um, situation or environment and things like that but don't get me wrong like definitely who you surround yourself around your environment does have a big part to play because like energy is real and um if you surround yourself around the wrong people 
Mm -hmm. They can rub off on you, just like if you surround yourself around the right people, they can rub off on you, but it's also by your own choice, okay? Like, mm, but don't get me wrong, like, you shouldn't have to be put, in a, like, you shouldn't have to live in, like, um, a toxic environment or household around toxic people and stuff like that because, like, it's going to make it a little bit more taxing on you okay and and like we are not out here to live in um survival mode or in defense all the time or fight or flight you feel me um so definitely anything is possible but i do i don't know it could be a limitation i put on myself but i feel like it is easier when you, you know, are really in that environment that's good for your soul and around those people that are good for your mind, body, and soul and that nurture you and water you and allow you to grow and flourish and, you know, who encourage you to be positive and do positive things and speak life into you. If you're not, if the people in your life don't speak life into you, I'm just saying maybe they shouldn't be in your life or just kind of put them into the distance if they're people you can't necessarily take away from your life but i mean to be honest you can take people away from your life i mean anyways i'm just saying the people in your life the things in your life should be nurturing you should be speaking life into you and you gotta be speaking life into yourself every single day even if the people even if the situations in your current reality in front of your face right now is not speaking life into you or bringing life into you you need to speak and bring that life into you and do some cpr on your soul okay get it back together and refuel that tank okay because temporary fuel runs out. But when you equip yourself with the permanent fuel of rejuvenated thoughts, it's going to rejuvenate your behavior, of course. Um, because you actually believed that you could because you actually believed in yourself and you actually nurtured yourself you know so i know it's it's insane to think it but we have over like seventy thousand thoughts a day we're always thinking our minds are like running 24 7. so you may as well choose to be aware of what is going on in here and if you don't like it if it's killing you if it's not nurturing you switch the channel change the frequency of the radio station to something else you can do that so i'll leave you with this the power is in your hands and love love is not a destination it's a journey so continue to embark on this beautiful journey of creating this love inside yourself and watch it just reflect outwards of yourself all right so have yourselves a wonderful day and bye